Dr. Richard Heck, a brilliant scientist, dedicated teacher, loving husband. Dr. Richard Heck was born in Springfield, Massachusetts, on August 15, 1931. He was an only child, and according to him, he had a relatively normal childhood, much like that of other children his age. His parents, Freyoff and Blizzle Heck, were both professional dancers. When he was seven years old, Dr. Egg and his family moved from Springfield to Los Angeles, California. There, he bought a new house. This event in his life was soon to become the start of his interest in science. Dr. Egg attended Dorsey High School in Los Angeles. He then went to college at the University of California, Los Angeles. It was there where he obtained his B.S. degree and Ph.D. in chemistry in 1952 and 1954, respectively. During his time at UCLA, Dr. Heck's mentor was Dr. Saul Winstein. Dr. Heck conducted his postdoctoral studies at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology Zurich, or ETH Zurich, where he worked with Dr. Vladimir Prelog, who later received the 1975 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Dr. Heck worked at the Hercules Corporation in Wilmington, Delaware, starting in 1957. He worked there for 14 years. Dr. Heck was then hired by the University of Delaware in 1971 as a professor of chemistry. He eventually retired in 1989 and resided in Florida, where he had a relatively quiet life, a significant part of which spent tending to his garden. Dr. Heck has visited the Philippines several times since his wife Socorro is a Filipina. They decided to settle here in 2006. Since then, he had been living quietly in a peaceful neighborhood in Metro Manila. And it was only last year when he shot to national prominence when he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Dr. Heck was awarded a Nobel Prize in recognition of his development of the Heck reaction. The Heck reaction became very important since it is used to connect carbon atoms for the synthesis of relatively large compounds such as prominent anti-cancer drugs. He single-handedly developed this reaction in the late 1960s, years before any of his contemporaries. Dr. Richard Heck shared the Nobel Prize in Chemistry with Dr. Eichi Nigishi and Dr. Akira Suzuki. He received the Nobel Prize on December 10, 2010 at the Stockholm Concert Hall from His Majesty King Carl VI, Gustav of Sweden. Dr. Richard Heck has truly accomplished much in chemistry, but his interest in the field began with gardening.
interest turned to passion, and a young Richard Hack found inspiration in Dr. Saul Winstein, his mentor at UCLA. Well, I think the person I admired most was the, my mentor at UCLA when I was a student, Professor Winstein. He was a really brilliant guy, and I learned a lot from him. Students can also inspire teachers. Students encounter challenges much like accomplished scientists. According to Dr. Heck, challenges and difficulties are part of the nature of research and problem solving. Well, that's the nature of research. Some things work and some things don't. It's not a question of encountering difficulties. It's just another problem that you can't solve sometimes. But uh, I never looked at it as things you could do and couldn't do. They were all things that you might be able to do if you knew how. The strongest points of a scientist should be passion and dedication. Dr. Heck believes that each student should choose and follow his own path. Well, I, I got into chemistry because I liked it mainly, not because I thought it was something I should do or somebody wanted me to do. I, I, I did it because I liked it, and I think that should be a primary driving force. Don't go into something because you think it's important and that you want to make money, but do it because you enjoy it. <laughs>